Hi guys, Colin here with iSkySoft iPhone data recovery for Windows. Today, we're going to look at how to perform a selective recovery of files and photos using iCloud Backup. So iCloud is great. If you've lost your phone or it's broken, or you did some weird jailbreak on it and now it won't turn on, you can get all your data back once you get a new phone. But what if you really need access to some of those files that you know are on your iCloud before you can get a new phone? Or what if you just want to get a couple of files out of an iCloud backup, but you don't want to go to the hassle of applying the whole backup just to get those files back. Well, with iSkySoft iPhone data recovery, we've got you covered. You can get your files, whether you've got a phone or not, and it's really simple. So just go to the recover from iCloud backup file. And if you still have a phone, make sure it is not connected to your computer at this point. And then enter your Apple ID and your password. Don't worry, iSkySoft doesn't record your password or your account info. If you've forgotten your password, you can just click the link here to take you to the Apple page where you can send yourself a reminder or whatever. So I'll enter my details here. I'm just going to blur out my email in this video so, so the internet doesn't send me all sorts of spam. Then we press enter and hello, lots of iCloud backups here. So you can see I have an iPhone 6 and an iPad Air. So you can select the one that's likely to contain the files that you want to recover and download it like this. You can choose your file types that you want to recover, then just click next. So it takes a little while to download depending on how big the, the backup is. So I'm just going to skip forward through this section. Then once it's downloaded, I'll unpack the content from this backup. You can see there's loads of categories of data you can recover. I've got camera roll, app photos, app videos, messages, message attachments, contacts, call history, loads of other stuff as well. You can recover so many different types of files using iSkySoft iPhone data recovery. So if we have a look in the messages tab here, you can see these, um, these entries marked in orange are ones that have been deleted before, so they're not actually present on my, my uh, iPhone at the moment. So you can get deleted content back as well. So now you just need to select the data you want to extract from the iCloud backup. You can select everything up here. Or just select categories. But I'm just going to go and get one message that I lost somehow. There we go. Then we just click recover. I'm going to recover this to my computer. It's going to put it into the default folder. And it's really quick. It opens a folder for me, and then we can see going to HTML and messages. And there we can see my message has been recovered. I can then use that in whatever way I need to use it. So you can also recover more items if you need to. So obviously, if you want to select all messages, we can just click that box there. All my contacts, all my WhatsApp conversations, all my calendar items. And then once you've selected them again, you can just go to recover. Also, any iCloud downloads that you make will still be accessible to you through iSkySoft iPhone data recovery. So if you want to come back to this backup and extract or restore more files, you can do so whenever you need to. Only with iSkySoft iPhone data recovery.